welcome guys uh, to this session on table-based CRC computation using lookups instead of serial computations and in this video we are going to cover how the table-based CRCs work or why more importantly they work and then we will show you the um, code to make it work so let's dive in So looking briefly at CRC equations, you can see here that the CRC is a 32-bit equation in this case, example CRC32, and then data coming in bit by bit is just getting XORed right here at the MSP, at the top of the CRC register is where the XOR happens. And this data usually is, is reversed before it comes in. So if an 8-bit comes in bit 7 down to 0, bit 0 would be fed in first, which is called reversal. Now, then this data is fed back and the CRC is computed. So just quickly answering why to use lookup tables, if you do the serial computation, then it takes many, many computations to get to the just processing a 8-bit value. And it's slower to compute bit by bit. It's much faster if you were to just compute all this as a fast forward and if you could figure out exactly what the 8-bit value result would be, you can just do it in one quick lookup. And that's the advantage of using table-based CRCs. So now let's look at what is the math which makes the table-based CRCs work. So first of all, let's understand that the MSB is what governs the CRC math. So if you just look at that, this MSB, if it's one, this XOR of the MSB of CRC and the incoming data, if that is one, then only is this, whatever the, the, the equation is, it's stamped, it's XORed back into this register. That's the first piece of the equation or the puzzle. The second part is this math that CRC works on is called CRC A plus B equals CRC A plus CRC B. Now, um, let's just take an example here. So if you were to do CRC of, and these are not hexadecimal digits, but just placeholders. So let's say 0x, some digits A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and G, H is not hex like I said, but these are just placeholders. If you want to compute CRC over this, then this can be written as CRC of AB and 0000 plus CRC of 0x00 and CD EFGH. Now, based on this feedback that we just described, you can now break this down as you really compute this first part because this has non-zero values here. Z remember, zero produces nothing back here. It has no effect. It's only when this is one. So this second part, because this is all zeros, it really is just a left shift by eight bits. And so you end up with zero X C D E F G H. And I think it should be a zero left shift by eight or you can add zero zeros there. Now this first part is the interesting part, which is that this A B is the one which needs to be computed. And because this is all zeros, really the only compute required is this A B and that becomes an eight bit lookup table. So using this, main equation is how we arrive at this 8-bit CRC table lookup. So this is the part um, of the explanation and now next we'll dive into the code and show you how this actually takes place. So see you in the next section. All right guys, so here we are in the code and this code is available on Bitbucket and this module is called table gen 8-bit dot c um, and so the way the code is written if i just go to the bottom of it um, the, the way this code is written is that we do two computations the first computation is just a serial computation just to compare ourselves and give us a baseline next computation is this table based computation i'll show you that in a second and then we make sure that the result of these two computations are exactly the same which proves that our function is actually working so Let's look at the, the simple serial computation. When we talk about CRC32, we have this polynomial, which we showed earlier in a, in a graphic. The initial value of CRC is 
traditionally all Fs, which is all one values, uh, all 32 bits being one. And then you run through this array of bytes, and the first thing you do is reverse the bytes, and reverse means that if you're given seven down to zero, you start with zero first, bit zero. And then you compute the CRC by shifting this byte to the top aligning with the MSB. And remember that the way the equation worked was that the MSB is where the XOR happens and you just feed it right there bit by bit and XOR happens and then it either XORs a polynomial or not. So then you go through all the, you shift all eight bits and all you do is if you check CRC um, XORing with the byte, if you get um, one, on the top, if you get a one on top, then what you do is you left shift the CRC and XOR it for this polynomial. So you remove that bit. If that bit uh, is one, then you XOR the polynomial after shifting. And if it's not one, if it's zero, then it's just a shift. So this is how the simple CRC worked in a serial fashion. And then at the end of all the bytes have been computed, you invert the CRC and then you order the bytes in a certain way, um, reverse. So the bit order is reversed and then that's how the CRC is returned. Next, we look at table-based CRCs. So remember that the approach of table-based CRC depends on the function CRC A plus B equals CRC A plus CRC B. And we have also realized that the polynomial remains the same, the initialization value remains the same, but we need this table computation. So table computation, all it does is remember the first part, which was we did CRC A, B, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So given any byte on that top position, A, B, that we showed you earlier, you just have to compute what the net CRC would be. And this part assumes that we know that byte and that byte could be anything from 0 to 255. We just compute the net result of CRC there. And then we store at the end for that byte, we just run through the CRC compute. Now remember, the CRC value initialized to zero, not FFs. And that is because we are just looking at one component of CRC, which was that first half. And for that, and because we treat all pieces of CRC individually, this does not assume there is an initial state. When we put all this together, the state comes into picture. But at this point, you just assume CRC is zero and you make this table following exact same equation. You assume that that is at the MSB, you run through it eight times, and at the end, you store that in the CRC table. You do nothing else. You do not reverse the bits. You do not XOR with FFs. You do nothing. You just compute and leave it here. Now, once this table has been computed, then we go on to this next part, which is here. And um, you can see that in this section, um, let me just highlight that in this section, we compute the CRC using table-based method. So what we are doing here is that we run through all the bytes again, we pick a byte, we reverse the byte, and then we feed it. Uh, we basically do XOR of that with the MSB and then we extract that byte because that's the only byte that goes through this table method. That byte goes through the table lookup here. And then remember the equation that we showed in the last part, the CRC of you know two pieces, A, B, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, was this MSB was done through a table lookup and then you XOR it with the uh, CRC of shifted um, the lower pieces, the lower um, 23 down to zero, uh, 24 bits of CRC are just left shifted. And that is essentially the equation right here. Now, at the end of this, all you do is just like before, you invert the bits, you put them in a certain order by bit reversal. And once you do these two operations, your final CRC is done and we are ready for a test. So in the next section, I'll see you in the run of this program. Alrighty guys, so welcome back. And we are about to run this program, uh, which is available on the Bitbucket, table gen 8bit.c. And let me first compile it. And once this function is compiled, 
all I have to do is run this and when I run this it produces two results first was the simple CRC using serial equation and this is the value and if I compute it using memory lookup it's the same exact value so that's it um, in this section and uh, I will summarize in the next section all right guys so as a final summary please remember that the way the table based CRCs work is always remember that CRC A plus B is equal to CRC A plus CRC B and that's how we broke down this large number into two pieces one that just produced a shift and the other that just produced the 8-bit table and using these two parts we were able to compose a table using this first part and then once this table was composed we could chew through any number of bytes and produce this result so that's it for this episode guys and hopefully you understood that all the all the compute that we did here and how it can really help you accelerate your crc computation and also hopefully you understood the math behind it so once again i'd like to thank you guys for spending the time with me here uh, on youtube and until next time take care and bye bye